Here I'm in an area called Hidden Valley, and that's because if you don't know how to get back in this valley, it's not easy. Even knowing how to get back here is not easy. Because my dog enjoying the snow. And uh, for those who want to know, it's June 26th, and I am maybe a hundred feet above sea level. So, and down there's the valley below. It's just the scenery. Now there's more scenery. I gotta get over to the next ridge to see that. Meanwhile, Cricket is enjoying the snow. She loves it. Oh, I'm flopping the snow. All right. Okay, I'm over the ridge. There's a glacier up around the corner. You can't see it. Okay. Sorry, the dog's calling on me. That's all glacial runoff and snow melt. That'll slow down when all the snow melts. Ah. And there it goes out. So it's back way. You can pan through this again. This is actually the most common area I see black bears. Uh, so yes, I am armed with both pepper spray and a revolver. That boulder down there is bigger than a it's about the size of two Suburbans and uh, two big pickup trucks. And uh, during the earthquake in 2018, that thing moved several feet. It used to be up against the other shore, so it moved quite a distance. And there you go. And here are just the beautiful waterfalls. I think this smaller one is prettier. I like the, uh, the mist. Yes, I know, You're, we're not moving. This one's definitely raging more. It's still a very nice waterfall. Okay, for those of you who've seen my video showing the beaver pond that my dogs play in, um, it's right around that corner there. You can't see it, it's out of sight. But you can walk through the beaver pond and then walk through the rivers and stuff to come back up this way. That's one way back here if you want to walk through rivers. Uh, but you have to be dressed for walking through rivers. But just beautiful scenery. Let's just zoom in on those mountain peaks. The snow's melting. It's June 26th. Way over there, the snow cap on. She's really trying to figure out how to get to those sticks. She loves her sticks. But that water might just be a little bit more than she wants to go into. Oh, my daughter doesn't mind walking through it. Just working my way back down out of the valley. Uh, it goes a little slow. There's a glacier underneath all that snow out there in the mountain. I don't know how well I can be heard, but we'll pan back around. I was up on that knoll there by those waterfalls. So you can see the terrain I have to cover. And believe it or not, there actually is a trail up there that I'll go through. Uh, good to have dogs, they help out a lot. But yes, this is the terrain I'm walking through. I'm at the end of the road in Whittier, which is Emerald Cove, I guess. I don't know. It's the end of the road. You can't go any farther than this. There's a glacier over there in the mountains. Let's take a better look. There's a glacier. There's a boat out there. And if you look down here, it's high tide. So if you see those boats, the yellow boats down there, they're going to have to move out pretty soon because tide's going out. So they're going to want to launch before they have to carry those things. That's a nice little cove to walk down to. And it is a steep walk down. But a nice cove to walk down and look around. Let's go back up over here. Lots of mountains. And back that way is Whittier. Okay, here we have a nice waterfall on the walking out from the Emerald Cove parking lot. If you can hear me over the water. 
And that's my son standing over there. You got these nice little waterfalls over here. And then it flows down this way and it heads down to the ocean somewhere. I imagine I'll cross that later as it goes to the ocean. The ocean's only maybe a quarter mile from me. Okay, I'm just deep in the forest and I came across this little stream, quasi waterfall. It's uh, you know, I can step over it, but it flows out to the ocean, which is right out that way. There's the ocean and there's the mountains. So, and here we go. I just love the sound of the waterfalls. Well, let's pan up and around. But yeah, that waterfall goes way up there. Okay, the streams that I crossed up in the forest now flow down into the ocean. This rock here is just slime covered. It's like walking on wet ice. I wouldn't recommend it. And then here we go, and out to the ocean. And my kid's playing with kelp. Oh, a little bit closer than I wanted to get. There we go. And I think that is the stream that I crossed that I got the other video of. Sometimes you come across streams like this that you can't easily uh, walk through unless you want to get your feet wet. But Mother Nature left me a bridge. So this is how I'm crossing this stream and continuing on. The dogs, they have no problems. They just plow right through the water. My kids have no problems. They plow right through the water. I myself much prefer to keep my feet dry. So, just a little view around again before I uh, send this off and cross my bridge there. And see if I can get down to the ocean on the other side. I actually just came up from the ocean. And as always, my dog tries to get a stick out of the river. No matter how hard it is to get out, she's going to try. She's trying to rescue that stick from the evil water. There's the stream flowing down to the ocean, which is maybe 200 yards out. You just can't see it. And then my dog trying to save that stick from drowning. Okay, just at another cove. There's my dog standing on a little point. Boat in the background. Now let me zoom out. See the ocean and the mountains. And over there is Whittier, and there's a cruise ship over there. Probably the same one I saw last time. That's it. Yeah, there's people walking behind me. Okay, here we have some sea anemones. They're very tiny. I'll put my hand down for a moment for scale. But yeah, you can see the sea anemones there. Here, I'll put my finger down for scale. Yeah, see, you can see how small that sea anemone is. I'm just in a tide pool along the ocean. And this one looks like it's eating a, a crustacean of some kind. Oh look, and there's a little water bug. So, just stuff you find along the ocean when you actually go out in the wilderness and explore. Okay, I'm out. I climbed my, walked my way around the point. 
There's a the glacier there, as you can see. And this is all in the bay that leads to Whittier. And I can actually see Whittier, so we'll swing around. And I'll zoom in on Whittier. But there's Whittier back over there. You can see the cruise ship probably. And they'll let you see where I'm standing on. So there's the ocean. And all this seaweed, kelp, whatever it is. I don't know, I'm not a marine biologist. But very pretty to look at. Okay, I hike up to the top of a waterfall. As you will see here, if we turn down and around, there's probably the loudest part of the water. And there it goes cascading down. So, and then just all the greenery all around. So let's just pan back around a little better view. Climb to the top of the waterfall. I hope I can, my voice can be heard. And there you go. So I climbed even farther up the waterfall. This is about as far as I want to go. But this is what we have here. Got that nice little fall there. We got that one right over there over that log. And it swings around. It's right below me where it's nice and loud. And off it goes down to the ocean. Finally, I found a sleepy little stream in the shade. Uh, in another four to six weeks, this stream will be filled with salmon. They just haven't arrived yet. Apparently, this is the crossing point. There's a trail right there. And it uh, looks like somebody arranged the rocks. I don't think that's natural. And then it just flows down to the ocean, which is right out there. And so, just a nice little quiet, sleepy little stream in the shade. In the sun, it gets hot. The actual air temperature is about 60 degrees Fahrenheit, but in the sun, it feels much hotter. Oops, the dogs are pulling on me. So, this is where I am. <laughs>